Hello and welcome to Africa's Leading Ladies, the show that celebrates women making a difference in our country and across the continent, both in the corporate scene and the entrepreneurs who are driving Africa's economy. I am your host, Patricia Esikote. Makeup has become an essential to most women across the world. And today we talk with Grace Monzia, the founder of 25th Hive Cosmetic and Spa, who imports latest makeup for Kenyan women. Twenty Fifth Hive is a cosmetics brand that sells different cosmetics and the spa section provides wellness where you can relax and enjoy. What really inspired you into this business and what is the history of this business? What inspired me was I wanted to provide quality products that are affordable because in the market there are very many products. Some are not original. The ones that are original are very, very expensive. So I wanted to come in and provide original, high quality products which are affordable to the common one in G. And the history about the business is 25th Hive before was a clothes business. It was a failed business venture. I started it when I was 19, but closed down with many clothes which I took home. But now, in 2017, I started now the cosmetics and the spa business, which is growing over time. And what I can say with the cosmetics, I started with 200 shillings. And that, with that 200 shillings, I was able to buy a product which I sold at 1,000 shillings. With the profit, I bought more products, then I got 5,000. Like that, it multiplied till now it opened the spa. So no one should say that you do not have capital what you should have is just an idea. Do you research and do uh, know this is the type of product that I need for my business? Yes, I do a lot of research. And where I get my products, I get them from US and UK and also South Africa. So if a customer wants a product, I order for them. I pre-order for them. They wait for two weeks and it comes. In the store, I have products that I already have. So in case you don't want any product that is, that is in the store, I can also make a custom order for you. How do you market your business? Well, um, what I can say about the market, the market is receptive to the products. And how I market my business is through social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. So the spa is there, the cosmetics is there. What I do with the cosmetics, I just post different cosmetics like these ones. For the spa, I also post tailor-made services. And through that, people are able to be aware of the services and the products, and they actually call us and we buy. We do a lot of online marketing, which has really helped our business. We find that there are a lot of makeup stores in the country for now. Most of them sell very fake makeup. And we get like a lot of Kenyan girls way into the financial wise. So how do you convince people to come to your, to your business regarding that it is way more expensive than what they get on the, on the cheap stores around? Well, there are very many counterfeit products in the market. And how do I get my customers to buy products from me? is that I use celebrities. Through celebrity endorsement, I am able to market my products because you see a celebrity and you're a fan of that celebrity. Therefore, you'd want to actually buy the product that the celebrity is using. And the celebrity, of course, does not want to use fake makeup. Fake makeup is bad because it affects your skin. You don't know the products that are in it. And also, it's like fake lipstick. You just buy a fake lipstick and you'll have swollen lips or foundation, you'll have rashes and you do not want that. Better save a few coins 
buy an original product that will serve you for even six months. So in the talk, there are a lot of celebrities also who are, may, uh, are opening these stores, these makeup stores. So what makes you stand out from these other uh, stores that st sell original makeup too? Mm. Okay, what makes us stand out is our packaging. Our packaging is very nice. Also, we also do delivery, door-to-door -door delivery, which is efficient because not all the time you have time to go to the store and actually pick makeup. So you actually give us a call and we deliver at your doorstep. We also deliver to Tanzania and Uganda, not only Kenya, and throughout Kenya, outside Nairobi. Yeah, so that makes us stand out. And our prices are amazing. So uh, tell us about your products and your services. Uh, our products are original, that's cosmetics products. Also for our services, we offer affordable services and we offer the services also to corporates because in corporates, uh, you work hard, you work so hard, eight to five, and you just need to relax some time. Uh, we've, talked, we've talked about the 25th Hive uh, Spa. Uh, tell us about that business. Uh, about the spa, the spa is a business that we recently started and so far so good. We have worked with corporates in the past where as I've told you, you see you go to work 8 to 5 and you want to relax after 5 or you want to relax during the weekend. So we have tailor-made packages for corporates where the HR wants to treat the staff or the senior management wants to treat the managers. They normally come to us, we tell them make them a package, either you do massages, either they want to do manicures, we offer all that. The spa, in the spa also, we are able to tell them make other packages, for example, bridal packages. On Sunday, we were at an exhibition, a bridal exhibition, where we offered services like bridal makeup, where we offered manicures at really cheap prices. We also tailor make birthday packages, so we have we can just personalize the menu for your liking for the spa. Of course, you're in, you uh, you are in business. You have two business. So tell us about the challenges. Well, for the cosmetics, uh, we normally outsource delivery, so that is a challenge. Sometimes the riders are far and the customer is waiting for the product. So that is one of our challenges. Another challenge is I'm a young entrepreneur. So there are obviously growth and business development challenges. Like probably I want to really expand my business, but I don't have enough capital to really expand it. So that is also a challenge. For the spa, the challenge would be probably cause the place is hidden could be probably marketing to the mass market. For the spa, it's mainly for just uh, ref through referrals. That's how people come and through the marketing that we've done on social media. But that is a challenge because we are a bit hidden in current. How do you market your, your products apart from social media? Well, I also market through media. For example, I've been in a newspaper, a local newspaper. I also write articles for the leading magazines in Kenya. I've written two articles already. And I also tell people, my clients, if you bring a client, I'll give you a discount. So they keep on referring, they keep on referring. So that is marketing and also celebrity endorsement. If a celebrity says, oh, I bought my products from 25th Hive or I went to the spa and they had a great service, of course, all the fans would actually want to come to 25th Hive. So if you are asked today, what has your business done to the society, mm -hmm. what will be your answer? Well, my business has provided employment. Also, um, through our Instagram pages, we normally put different videos of how these celebrities use makeup. So in case you do not know how to use makeup, you can just go and check what the videos in our page, they're free because they're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, so that helps you to actually know how to do makeup. And through that, you'll be able to do your makeup. You'll be able to feel confident because uh, makeup actually makes you feel confident. And for the spa, we are planning on visiting a children's home. 
next month that is September and do makeup on some of the kids and also visit an old people's home and do makeup on the ladies. And at some point have you had a client who has complained about the product or uh, it has affected their skin? Okay, how do you how do you resolve that when you have such a client? Well, um, sometimes maybe the complaint is not the, the product has affected the skin. Most of our complaints maybe is with the rider, but or I, I ask for delivery where uh, I'm still expecting it, where you guys, you guys are not serious. So what we do with that is we explain to them, we let the rider explain to them, and we ask them if they can just wait a little bit longer because of course, if you continue growing in business, of course you'll have complaints. Being a young lady in the entrepreneurial world, mm -hmm. what is the advice and, and the advice that you can give these other youths out here on business? Uh, my advice to the youth out there who are seeking to start entrepreneurship is go for it. As I've said, capital should not be the reason why you're not pursuing it but you should also have passion when you're going for it because sometimes business will be crazy, you, do, you won't know what to do. So just have passion, determination and focus and it will be good. Where do you see yourself or your business in the next one year or one to five years to come? In the next one to five years, I plan on opening my cosmetic store in a leading mall in Kenya. For my spa in the next, let's say, four to five years, I plan on increasing uh, services that I offer. For example, I'd want to uh, have a jacuzzi, sauna, because it's all about wellness. And for the cosmetic store and for the spa, both of them, I also want them to be a household name in Kenya, not only in Kenya, but in East Africa, and I believe it's possible. I also see myself having a fragrance line under 25th Hive Cosmetics. Remember, we'd like to hear from you. Keep in touch with us at Fanaka Digital on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and check our Instagram page to share your thoughts about our shows. Every week on Africa's Leading Ladies, we share some business opportunities that you can take advantage of. And this week, we look at businesses that you can start with as little as 5,000 shillings.
that's all we have for you this week. But remember to keep in touch on Facebook and Twitter and keep the conversation going. For now, take care. We will see you once again next week. I've been your host, Patricia Esikote.